sir. Now that looked like it hurt, but if it's done right, a typical judo throw shouldn't hurt at all. When you're practicing, it sounds really loud when people get thrown. It sounds like it hurts, but it really doesn't. One of the first things you learn when you start is how to do a break fall. So you slap your hand on the mat and hit with your feet. That's what makes the loud sound and what breaks your fall so it doesn't hurt. Melissa Barcelos has been in judo for over 10 years, a sport she says is a great way to vent a little of that pent-up aggression. It's a really good workout, burn tons of calories, uh, get to work off your aggression, fight a bunch of guys every couple days. The Williams Lake Judo Club recently held its second annual throw-a-thon. We throw each other as many times as we can to raise money for our judo club. Members collect pledges and then hit the mats, this year raising nearly $2,000 with over 400 throws. Wow. Senior instructor Sensei Chris Bazaire says that while it may just look like people throwing each other around, like any martial art, there is always more than meets the eye. Judo is a grappling sport, so our uh, stand-up uh, randori, which is our free practice, consists of mostly throwing, and on the ground it consists of turnovers, chokes, and arm locks to make her uh, opponent submit. A good throw is with speed and you land flat on your back. Um, in a tournament, uh, one good throw is the end of a match. For Barcelos, the club has proven to be more than just a place for a little bit of exercise. It's become a place where the students can grow and build relationships. First thing you learn is discipline. Um, it teaches kids how to listen, how to behave, how to st um, build confidence, make lots of friends in judo, friends that you'll be friends with for your whole life, for, in my case anyways. Well, self-confidence is one of their biggest things. Uh, you can see that how the kids progress from the start of the year to the end of the year, how their confidence gets better, and they learn some self-control and, and composure. Go on, John. This year's season is wrapping up quickly, but if you'd like to check out the club or want more information, call Sensei Jeff at 250-296-0062. In Williams Lake, I'm Sam Numson for Shaw TV.